When I see fabric, my brain starts just giving me all these ideas. Maybe this fabric wants to be a bomber jacket. Maybe this one wants to be even a bomber jacket. You can see a blazer too, but a dress, no, I don't see it. And the fabric totally speaks to me. If I can see it, I can make it. When I have my fabric and the women that I'm gonna dress, boom, it's like collision, it's just perfect. My name is Marcela. I am the fashion designer for the label Miriam Marcella. How I started was deconstructing vintage pieces and turning them into something new. Reducing all the materials that I use, repurposing, just not add whatever, but to create something meaningful instead of seasonal. When I post a new item, then somebody sent me a message and say, oh, I love this jacket, can I have it? And do you still have fabric for this? And then if they are here in Portland, we make an appointment, they come here. The interaction one by one with the customer, that's what I love the most. So I have some sketches for you, and we can have a contrast tape on the inside. So when you sit down and the dress opens, you have some little print or something hidden. With this one, I can see it. My clients come and relax and just express all the needs that they want for this new piece of clothing. There is a place and a season for everything. And when I started the vintage pieces, you know, everything started developing. And now I have the collection where it's ready to wear it. And then now Wild Woman. So we're in Paris in a beautiful vintage boutique called Paris Fashion Vintage. My friend Livia, she's from Colombia, and invited me over and over again. So finally I got the chance to come and it just means a lot to me, especially with the collection that I'm presenting that has such a beautiful message and meaning behind it. See, we took the head off, so now I'm gonna make it a little sharper. So this is Agua, this is the number one. This is the very beginning of the collection. Many of our marketing material has this face in it. I like to make everything in the inside look as beautiful on the outside, even though nobody will see it but the person that bought it. But for me, that's enough. That's nice. Huh. As a designer, you're always limited with the client's budget or a collection or, you know, so many factors that come along that you have always a limit. But with Wild Woman, it's an opportunity for me to do whatever I want. I mean, these beads here are 24K plated gold beads. We just took all that extra because they're pieces of art. You know, when you start in the fashion industry, you don't know how to do it. You, there is no book or nothing that says, okay, step one, you do this step. You know, so you just have to jump out there and do it. I think the challenge has been into growing and allowing others to help me. I'm a perfectionist, so I want everything to be perfect. And, and the truth is that things evolve and is the beauty of it. My best brain is for creating, and when it comes to the digital, I mean, there's so many things that you can probably spend so much time on a website that even you guys, GoDaddy, you know, jumps into this project to help us with what you guys do best. You focus on these folds because I can't do this. I cannot create this beautiful look, so we're going to focus on creating you something that is going to be wonderful. The website is up. Oh my gosh. It is so cool. Since the number one phone call that we had, you just love the project and I felt your support right away. And companies like you guys come and say, hey, we believe in you, we can support you, we can deliver the message that you want. It's just like a huge blessing and I'm extremely thankful for that. It's about sharing everyone's talent. I attended the Women's March in 2017 is where I had this vision of this white collection with women's portraits. I'm not the artist that makes the portraits, you know, I'm very good at creating the clothing, but I wanted to research for these artists that can have that vision with me. So I found Laura on Instagram and all this work that you see, it's made with a crank machine. So there is no pedal, it's just cranking, cranking, cranking. Yes, a hundred year old, it's amazing. She blows my mind. She finds this way and then she goes around because she has to find her way out after all this collection is going to be done and showcase is going to be auctioned. So I don't get to keep them. And then all the proceeds will go to an organization called Fondo Semillas, which helps women in old Mexico. So it's kind of like a full cycle of help and give and using our talents and collaboration. And I really like it. Hey. So good you? to see you. Thanks oh, for coming. You 
I always vision going and going and never stopping. And the fact that, that I'm going from Portland and then Mexico, the red carpet, and then now Paris, it's a huge thing for me. As long as you have your big picture, you just take your time and the universe will follow and everything will just follow the way that it has to be. And we all have a talent and for me, this is it. It's just another reminder that being constant and being added and not giving up is key into just going towards your vision.